So I just recorded a video where I talked about not overcomplicating stuff and listening to uh, or the wording of stuff, even if it's technology-based, and just using basic common sense to figure out what stuff means and not overcomplicating it. Um, but I'm probably going to do a whole other video on this where I actually demonstrate it. But one of the things I hate, I hate so, so much, and a lot of people do it, but primarily iPhone users seem to do it, is they take screenshots of stuff instead of sending it. Like, here's a PDF. Instead of just sending me the PDF, they'll take a screenshot of the PDF and send it to me. And there's so many reasons you shouldn't do that. I mean, three, three main reasons I can think of. First of all, you're, if I have a text PDF and you take a picture of it, the picture is going to be bigger than, than the text PDF. It's going to be a larger file. Also, you now have removed all text. It's a, it's a photo, so I can't highlight and copy text out of that. So if you're sending me you know, a file and there's, there's a phone number or an address or, or a web link on there or something, I can't highlight, I can't copy and paste that somewhere, and I can't search through the text because uh, it's not text anymore. It's an image. You've also lowered the quality greatly because it's going to be the resolution of your screen. So I can't, with, with a text PDF, and I'm just using PDF as an example, I can zoom in, zoom in, and I can make the letter from the, in the file the full size of the screen. It's going to look clear. I'm not going to be able to do that with your screenshot. So if I zoom in to try to read something, it's going to be blurry. It's going to be pixelated. Don't take screenshots of stuff unless you're specifically trying to show me this is what's on my screen right now. I need you to see what's going on on my screen for, like, troubleshooting or something like that. Um... But that's just one example. Uh, I've also seen people take screenshots of photos. Like they'll take a photo, then they'll look at the photo, take a screenshot of the photo, and send that to somebody. It's like, just send the photo that you already took. It's a higher quality. Don't, don't take a picture. And I had someone go, oh, I t I, it doesn't lose quality when I take a screenshot. No, no, see, the screen, I don't even know what the resolution on your screen is uh, on, a, on an iPhone or a standard phone. But let's just say it's, it's 1080p. It may not even be that. I don't even know. I guess, I guess, I guess some of the higher-end phones have it. But you take a photo with your, your camera, the resolution is going to be huge. Even though you're viewing it on your screen this big, the actual resolution your camera takes is huge. So you just lost quality there. It may or may not matter, but you're also just taking an extra step. You're overcomplicating it. Why would you take a screenshot of a photo, which lots of times still has like the, the border of the photo application, uh, around it. And I've actually seen on um, realtor websites where realtors take screenshots of their of the house. They'll have pictures of their house up on Zillow or some other website and they'll take screenshots on their phone where it still has the URL bar uh, and all this other stuff in the shot and upload that as images. If you're trying to sell my house and you did that, you are fired. You are fired because that just looks horrible. It looks unprofessional. And it's an extra step. Just take the photos. You're looking at a website, download the photo. If you took the photo, take the photo that you took. Don't, don't take screenshots unless you need to. There's, it, you, and a lot of people are, oh, it's easier this way. How It's adding an extra step. If I have a PDF and I want to send you a PDF, I want to send you this PDF, I just click on that PDF, click share, and then choose how I want to share it. What you're doing is opening up the PDF, taking a picture of it, going to that picture, then saying share, and then you're continuing the process from there. You just add three extra steps to a fairly simple process, lower the quality, possibly increase the size of the, the file, even though you lowered the quality, and made it less useful to, to me. In many cases, again, if it's text, I can't search. Let's say it's, well, you wouldn't take a screenshot of a 50-page document, although I have seen people take, this is the same thing, just in a different, different uh, realm. I've seen companies uh, where they create a file, you know, Word document or whatever, and then apparently they will print it and then scan it to make it a PDF file. Instead of just saying print to PDF or save as PDF or export as PDF, whatever application they're using. So now you just sent me a 50-page PDF that the quality is horrible because the scan, the file is much larger than it would have been. I mean, huge when you're talking about files that, huge file difference. The quality is horrible. And I can't word search or highlight and copy and stuff. I have a 50 or 100-page document and I'm looking for a part of it. I can't just say, you know, look for whatever. I'm looking for the address of the comic book shop, and somewhere in there it has some information about a comic book shop. I can't just search comic book. Or if I know that, that the comic book shop is in Orlando, I can't just search Orlando and find where it says Orlando. Oh, there's the address, copy and paste. I have to scroll through and glance over each page until I see the address and hope I don't miss it and have to scroll through again. And then I can't copy and paste it 
I have to type it unless I use some sort of OCR, but that's a whole, adding a whole nother step. So don't take screenshots. Don't print stuff and then scan them. Why would you print something and then scan it? Unless you need it to sign it, in which case you can do digital signatures. It's not that hard. But to just print something and then scan it, why would you do that? Print to PDF. Print to PDF. Pretty sure every computer has print to PDF built into it that's been made in, in, in the last 10 years. I, I'm, I'm assuming. Maybe Windows does. I know Windows didn't, you know, 10 years ago, but I would assume now you can print to PDF. And you can always install a print to PDF option. But most Office applications, I know LibreOffice and OpenOffice, you have an export to PDF. It's, don't print it. You're, you're making it more complicated. Again, if it takes more than two or three steps to do something, you're probably doing it wrong. So to open up the document, click print, print it, take it, scan it, save it as a PDF, it is, that's just way too much than just, say, just, than just clicking export as PDF. Anyway, that's a little bit of a rant, but it is a pet peeve of mine, and I see people do it so often. And I just thought of it after finishing this last video because I was talking about um, uh, my buddy who didn't know how to copy text from a text, so he got a text. He didn't know that he could long hold and say copy and then paste it somewhere. Um, so he's like, that's why I take screenshots. Well, that's, I mean, if you want to show the whole conversation, that's fine. That's fine. I get that, okay? This is, this is the conversation we had, and I want to show it back and forth just as it is on my screen. That's something you would use a screenshot for. That is fine. But if I send you information like, here's the address to something, or here's the phone number to something, or here's the, the, uh, the web link to something, to take a screenshot, now I've got, you sent me the phone number as a screenshot, I've now got to look at the number and then go, then type it in and go my, my phone dialer and try to type it in and go back and get the next number. Or what I would end up doing is just typing it into the text application and copying that and pasting. You're making it much harder on me instead of just going copy, paste, send. Now I can just usually most texting applications will detect a phone number. And I can just click it. And if not, I could highlight that text and copy it and paste it into my, my phone application. Same with with addresses. If you want to give me an address somewhere, a screenshot of the address or a screenshot of a map. People do that. They'll take a screenshot. Oh, here's the Google map or the Crapple map of it. And it's like, no, just just go into Google Maps or whatever and search for the address or just give me the address. That's all I need. But if you want to send me the map, just say share. Once you've looked up something on Google Maps, there's a share button, share. And then you'll say in a text to Chris, send. And I got it. I got a link to it. They'll usually send a, send a little map of it right into my you know, text application. But... Don't overcomplicate. Don't. 99% of the time, screenshot is the wrong way to go. 99% of the time, printing something and scanning it back into the computer is the wrong way to go. Uh, it's overcomplicated, makes things messier, larger. And yes, this video is just a completely uh, a rant, but it's a rant that hopefully educates somebody. And you know what? 99% of people who do that are going to continue doing that, even if they've watched this video. Uh, but if I got one person to stop doing that, I just made the world a better place. Uh, and again, uh, I might at some point have had a chance to do a video where I actually demonstrate this. I'll take a PDF with some text, look at the file size, take a screenshot at it, look at the file size, zoom in on both and show you the quality difference and show you how I can highlight and copy and paste text from one to another in one and not the other. Um, but to me, it's just, 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 you drive me crazy when you do that sort of stuff. So, and that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.